So today we're going to be showing you a um, couple of ways of how to roll joints and all of the um, items featured here are available in our store. We have a nice little plastic grinder, gets the job done, um, element papers, it's my preference as well as raw papers. Um, we have a raw glass filter tip. Uh, use very often, heavily, heavily used actually, and nice jar of some animal cookies that we're going to be using. So I'm going to take probably um, about a 0.72 gram, nice little decent sized joint, place it in my grinder. I don't want no big icky stems. So I don't really like to place um, bud right in the center of the grinder because I, I find that it gets stuck like that easier. So and we're just going to tap it out. Um, it's really all your preference whether you want your bud to be ground up finer. I find that finer um, bud works best for joints as well as um, drier herb. You don't really want to use very moist herb. It tends to um, burn unevenly. So I just did another quick round. Keep this all together here. Now, when you're using the filter, um, I preferably like to use it in the start. So I'm going to roll my paper to get a nice little shape. Make a little indentation for where my filter is going to go. And we're going to place it in like so and I build around the filter itself so I want to make sure it's tight around though else the glass filter is actually going to drop out of um, the end if you make if you don't make sure that it's tight and spread your herb evenly actually quite important to spread it evenly or like I said earlier um, that's another reason why your joint might be burning unevenly and once you got enough herb in there you're going to roll gently roll and press and then roll with both fingers and then lick the seam and close just seal it gently with your fingers or your mouth whatever your preference and like I said you like to get the end with the glass tip you want to make sure that it's stable and holds so there you go, you got a nice little joint there, all ready to fire and spark up. I also like to um, use a clipper lighter, which I don't happen to have on hand right now, to just push down the herb and twist the end so I have a nice little um, bit to light up and start the joint instead of constantly having to put butane if I'm not using a uh, hemp wick or the natural light device. Alright, today we will be showing you a different way of how to roll a joint with a glass tip filter. Uh, this is a raw tip. So he's going to start off 
by making a nice indentation into the um, paper here so he marks it along a ridge creates a nice little ridge as you can see and he's going to place the filter at the end and you can see the line right along the middle and that will um, allow the herb to fit nicely into there All right, so now the herb is in there evenly. And he's going to start to press, starting from where the filter is, all along to make it nice and tight. It's actually a really nice size joint that he's um, rolling up there. So he's pressing it all along to form the shape. Uh, like a cone he sealed it up with his lips and now he's just going to fine tune that by pressing it along the edges to make sure that everything sticks and tapping tapping it on the end <laughs> so all the herb goes down towards the filter and you have an even smooth then he's not missing one little bit here let's have it again quite the perfectionist why may I say so and he's also going to roll the end so you end up with something that looks like a little firecracker you see a but a perfect, perfect cone. You could bring that up to the camera closer. Oh, yes. Perfect cone. And um, quite fast, if I may say so. Rollers right. Smoke it up. <laughs>